Hey gang. We are at Disney Springs to go see the Christmas tree stroll. It's gonna be a little different. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it, but we're still excited to see all the trees and all the- Treats. Oh yeah, definitely a lot of holiday treats coming your way. Oh, but you, ha you have to come, come along. It's based off our name. Look at this, they have some toy soldiers. Look at him, he's just as tall as the palm tree. Now one tree that they are not as tall as is this giant center tree. Look at the tinsel wrapped around, the giant star on top. I feel like I'm at a theme park. Hey, excuse me, you just walked into my shot. I did it on purpose. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's snowing already. We just stepped into this place and it's already becoming a winter wonderland. And if you guys haven't been to the Christmas tree stroll or trail, it's been called a couple different things. It's basically where you go around and you look at different Christmas trees decorated with different themes, usually Disney themes. So this year I think they have them kind of placed throughout where last year there was a designated little area that you walked through. So it's even new to us this year. And last year was the first year that we did it and it was new. So mm -hmm. Disney Springs just keeps surprising us. And the garland that they have up this year, I don't really remember it. And Travis was saying it's kind of cool. It reminds him of like the Disneyland garland. Disneyland is not open in California yet, but I think we stole some of their garland here to enjoy for Christmas. Before you see Christmas trees or have Christmas treats, you need some Christmas cocktails. So we have decided to stop at one of our favorite places. Well, Travis, you love this place. I like barbecue, but it's really good. We had that good experience. We're at the Polite Pig to get some seasonal drinks. I got an apple cider whiskey sour just because it sounded super seasonal. You got... My go-to, old fashioned. Old fashioned. He likes to keep it old school. But yeah, just a little cocktails, then we'll start strolling around. Here is my apple cider whiskey sour. It is rye whiskey, apple cider with brown sugar topped with a little lemon wedge. What you got there? A little apple cider whiskey sour. Nice. Cheers. It's that kind of British. Tastes very apple cidery and very soury. Tastes bourbony. <laughs> Did you guys recognize or realize anything on Promise? What, What'd that I have do? my beloved paper straw? Mm. No. This is the very first vlog with my short hair. Yeah. I haven't had short hair in forever, you guys. In case you're not following me on Instagram, which you should be, link in the description. I cut all my hair off and I went a little darker. 2021 is almost here, so it was time for a change. I needed a, a new look, so Disney Springs is getting my, my new look. Looks the drink is really good, thanks. We added a few extra festive friends. Mom and Pops are here, as well as my little uncle, Commander Chris. And we are heading into the world of Disney to check out all of their festive merch. I didn't bring enough credit cards, I don't think. Garland, oh my Garland, oh my Garland, Disney Springs. This is amazing in here with the red and green brick up there. Wow, I don't even need to shop, just the decorations in here are stunning. And I absolutely love this new Wishes collection. Every single thing that you buy from this collection, actually part of the proceeds go to Make-A-Wish Foundation. They have backpacks, spirit jerseys, and even cute little doggy outfits. I love Make-A-Wish Foundation, and so I feel like I need to get something from this new collection. I told you guys I did not bring enough credit cards. Look at this beanie! <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thanks for the, the bun, the ear help. It is so cute with the little rhinestones and the little pom-poms, but it's Florida. 
Do I really need like a wool emerald beanie? I get matching gloves too. Uh, I think yes. Grogu. All right, and we found Grogu, aka the child, aka Baby Yoda, and he is feeling the Christmas spirit himself. He's literally, he's filled with some sort of spirit. He's a force. <laughs> he's moving. Oh, oh, it's Christmas. Some gingerbread caps here with little peppermint rosy cheeks. Some very cool mini and goofy flannels. I'm loving the flannel vibe. Here is the holiday spirit jersey. How colorful is that? All the characters all together with a little Mickey ornament on top. And don't forget your matching Christmas mask. Switching up my mask because I got a new mask. There we go. Much better. And I forgot that Disney Springs has given me an early Christmas present. They added this amazing Lego Kylo Ren to the front of the Lego store. And Chewie and the Red Stormtrooper aren't looking too bad themselves either. But Kylo looking like a snack. We have done some shopping, and after that original apple cider cocktail, I'm ready for some festive grub, and there is only one place that matters in Disney Springs during the holidays. Jock's Lindsay's Hangar Bar, and I'm hungry. Hangar Bar, baby! to sit outside and I'm so excited we did because we're on a boat babe I'm so excited they have actually had this boat area kind of shut down for a while so I am stoked to be back and not only do they have the best decorations here at Disney Springs they have the best holiday specialties Travis is getting the mistletoe mule it has Tito's handmade vodka lime juice, passion fruit topped with ginger beer. I am getting the very merry margarita that I hope gets me very, very merry. It is Patron Silver Tequila, Contro, red cranberry juice, and lemon juice. Oh my goodness, that tastes like good tidings and cheer. <laughs> Time for some tasty treats, and so we are going with Grandma's favorite sliders. They are venison sliders with cranberry bacon jam, mmm, tomato, and watercress. And this is the Papa Noel's Churrasco. It's grilled flank steak with pumpkin seed, chimichurri, fried sweet plantains, and spicy amarillo peanut sauce. All right, so we had a couple bites of the sliders, and they are just a little bit gamey, but I like it because they're also a little sweet, so it like completely balances it out. And the, the bun is very warm and soft and doughy. And the steak just came, and the smell of that chimichurri is chimichurific. <laughs> That was such a fun holiday time. That chimichurri steak and the plantains was my absolute favorite thing that we had. It did have a little bit of kick. If you like a little ho-ho heat in your food, definitely get that. It was so delicious. The drinks, cocktails were amazing. Jock Lindsay's did not disappoint this year. Let's go check out some trees now. 
All right, I think we finally found some trees. This tree right here was inspired by Pluto. And it even has this little dog house at the top and his collar. And I think there's even a little bones in there for him to dig up and save for Christmas morning. And then over here we have the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse inspired tree. And it is not very hard to see why. I love the yellow three little ornaments doing like the hidden Mickeys and all the polka dot bows. It is so beautiful though. It's beautiful. And then over here by Planet Hollywood, we have the Mulan tree. I love this. The greatest gift and honor is having you as a daughter. I just love that line from the movie. It always like chokes me up a little bit, especially because I got to spend this night with my dad, even just for a little bit. The holiday is the best time to create wonderful memories with your family. And this just might be my favorite tree of the trail, and that's because the forest is very strong with this tree. And there's porks, and there's BB-8s, and there's Jawas, and there's Stormtroopers. <laughs> All topped with a lightsaber star on top. Can we have a Star Wars Christmas tree? Absolutely. I mean like this one? That one? You just yeah. wanna just, just saw that one down, take it, put it? We'll take it. They, I don't think they'll care. Yeah, they won't care. We will say it was definitely different this year. We didn't get to see as many trees as we wanted to just because they're so spread out everywhere that by the time you get your treats and your drinks that you can only see so many trees. They were very similar to the ones we saw last year. I am happy that there was still snow, snow snowing. Yeah. Um, it just was very, very different, and I understand why they did it. The, the trail last year is very tight. You're literally in this little walking tiny trail. So I totally respect them spreading out. I just couldn't get to all of them. But the ones that we did see were super cool. What was your favorite like thing or like drink that we had tonight? That Moscow mule. <laughs> I think it's like called a Yule meal or something yeah. like that. It's just like a Moscow mule with I think it had, like cranberry flavoring or something in it. Pretty good. What was yours? I still am gonna say that chimichurri steak was thebomb.com. I don't wow. really know what made it Christmassy. I just loved the flavor profile of it. It definitely had more of a spice to it than I thought. Even we like spice, and I still thought it had. <laughs> a good spice to it. One of the other fantastic things of the evening was of course getting to see my lovely parents whenever we're here at the same time. It makes it very, very Christmassy. But for now, from Disney Springs, peace, love, and positivity. All the good things.